there's a changeable day today um, it started off very very sunny and hot and uh, we've had one major storm going through and there's another one coming by the looks of things you can see the clouds are really grey and I looked on the radar and hopefully it'll skirt around Cairns mainly it's quite a, it's quite a localised storm but it's quite intense and we copped it right in the centre uh, the good thing is it's actually the temperatures dropped substantially it was about mid 30s now it's down to mid 20s so much more comfortable so I'm not complaining the birds seem to like it up there on the, the electrical wiring it's a little bit of a breeze it's not bad it's actually quite quite pleasant out and uh, I've just got to get uh, do the other, another old man thing and let's get my medications for the trip I've got eye drops that uh, hopefully will last the distance I'm getting two two lots I'm going to ask them for two lots of that and and the lower cholesterol uh, tabs as well they're not as crucial that uh, you don't want to stuff around with your eyes so I'll make sure I've got enough of those um, although I think they've probably got the drops over there so I can, you know if, I, if worse comes to worse I do run out uh, I can always get some more there but uh, hopefully it won't come to that I think I should be okay but it's just a bit unfortunate that I've pretty well run out of the latest bottle so it'll be down to two and it'll be cutting it fairly fine but first of January. Stop saying dates to me, it's the first thing you do. It's funny with that music. I think there's work went out front of that place and they've got the uh, they've got their own speaker there for for the radio. Commercial radio, which I'm not a big fan of. I'm not a big fan of anything like that. I just get podcasts these days and get less ads. But uh, Yeah, look at that, you've got people they got their uh, cars got their lights on already. It's only around four o'clock in the afternoon. So uh, hopefully everything will be okay. Just got to get a couple of things at the supermarket. Pretty annoying. I ran out of dental floss. Uh, I mean, buy it over in Vietnam, but some of these things are actually cheaper here. Oh, the other thing that did happen today, I got finally got my electric razor, the one with batteries. They jump a. Uh, Chinese built one uh, it actually had some juice in it I couldn't believe it so I'm charging it up though getting it a full charge and uh, my, my main razor is dying the backside the electric shaver it's in bad shape uh, so it'll be good to get a, a fully powered shave and not have to worry about a power cord because that's the other annoying thing about that uh, that Phillips shaver I've got it has the, the little power cord that goes in to the body of the, the shaver it always drops out it, 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 every week or so a uh, week or two that little thing will, will will fall out and have to lodge it back into into the slot it's a bit really bad to design for because i mean how often do you want to do that anyway why would you want to remove the cord i don't know why they just don't have it fixed into the actual shaver it's a stupid way of producing it anyway uh, that's the design they've got Another plane, big surprise. Constant uh, stream of aircraft, and I'll be on one. It's Friday, so only a few days to go, and I'll be uh, back in Vietnam. And I'm actually watching the blogs of this guy, uh, Ricky, who's actually moved from the Philippines to to uh, Saigon, and he's going to go around the rest of. Uh, the country, but he's he's actually he's rented a uh, a flat, so he's staying there for six months, and he's got a very good deal, about 350 uh, US. It's paying a month, uh, so much cheaper than what I'm paying, about half what I'm paying. But uh, that doesn't worry me. If I was, if I was ever able to move over there, I'd, I'd probably do the same sort of thing as him, but probably pay a little bit more for my flat. His flats okay but it's reasonably basic it's got great security uh it's okay it does i, I could live there but I, i'd just like something a little nicer so yeah you can see that it looks pretty ordinary uh in that direction and geez a lot of traffic i mean it's only four o'clock surprise it's uh, this bad yeah it seems to be more traffic in cans these days it's definitely picking up it's just non-stop. 
I, I'm reticent to push the uh, button here because it's, it's absolutely useless the pedestrian crossing. But, uh, Yeah, could, hopefully I'll get to Cairns Central before the uh, skies open up again. Oh great, I just missed the lights here. Damn it. Having no luck. And I think the rain is going to start pelting down soon. So I'll use the umbrella. So I won't be able to report anymore. But yeah, anyway, it's good that the, that the, uh, the shaver arrived. I was a bit worried it wouldn't make it in time, so it's made it within two days of me leaving. Because it'd be a real pain I've gone overseas and the thing is, 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 is delivered that late, which can happen in Cairns. Uh, but one thing, it was just sitting sitting uh, behind the flywire door. It wasn't the guy. If he if he'd knocked, I didn't hear him. He didn't make much noise. And this has happened a couple of times with Australia Post. They they're not uh, assertive enough to take a You know they're there. And I just found it. Uh, lodged in that spot and I wasn't aware it had been delivered and it could have been there for a couple of hours so uh, yeah it's annoying because I don't know uh, hearing may not be as good as an 18 year old but it's not bad I don't need a hearing aid or anything so I can hear someone knocking on a door I think they're just they're just uh, timid they need to assert themselves a bit more so people know that things being delivered but luckily I found it and it's all intact and it seems to be working fine and there were some criticisms of the uh, the adapter plug and I couldn't see there's any problem with it it looked fine it's a cheap adapter plug but it seems to work so yeah I don't have a problem with it so some people are very picky when it comes to things I mean it's a cheap right shaver for guys only 25 bucks it's not exactly top of the line looks a bit kits too it's definitely for the um for the Chinese market because it's got a bit of gold and stuff on it and it's probably a little overdone for Western market uh, I'm only assuming this that it's not my taste anyway uh, I just prefer basic black but this one's I think it's got a little bit of status involved here, although it's a cheap shaver so we'll see how it goes apparently it got good reviews overall so I think it works fine so I uh, should get myself a decent shave tomorrow morning which would be nice and I think I'll sign off now because I'm getting a little bit more moisture here. Very grey, spitting a little bit, so it's always a danger. But uh, yeah, got all the medication done. Get myself the, uh, got some more floss. Just went in and bought one item at the supermarket. It's a bit strange for me. And uh, so everything's under control. Oh, the um, little glitch with the. Uh, the printer, really strange. I thought it was just, just needed a refill. And I thought it was strange because the um, I didn't think I'd done that much printing out of, out of the uh, ink cartridge. I was using the black ink cartridge. Uh, when I put the new one in, it came up with the same flashing orange lights indicating that the ink is uh, empty for black, which it isn't. It was a new one. <laughs> So I think there's a fault with the actual printer. Unfortunately, uh, office works don't sell the cheap can printers anymore. They must maybe they're too much of a hassle for them. The cheapest one you can get at office works is about 60 bucks now. Um, you get them online for about 40. The ones I used to have, uh, and I'll I'll do that again because that's that's ridiculously uh, inexpensive. But I'm I'm surprised that the printer's at fault. It's not worth repairing a print that only cost you 40 bucks obviously so it's planned obsolescence and uh, what, what I could do is take the print cartridge into Officeworks to see if they can test it for me. Uh, they might be able to do that for me, I don't know. Uh, but I've only got one thing to really print off and I can do that at Officeworks anyway so I don't really need the printer. I've done the most of the uh, printing except for one page at the moment so it's not really a major issue for me. So that's about the only glitch, not a big one. Uh, and like I say, it's a, it's a cheap, cheap printer. Although I've had them before and they've been fine, but maybe the the weather up here might knock about the electronics a bit more with the humidity and what have you. I didn't have it covered either, which I probably should have done, put plastic covering over or something. So that might be my mistake on that one. So. 
yeah uh, anyway not a biggie uh, everything's going to plan uh, I've got a um, I'm going to meet up with some strangers tomorrow uh, at a pub just across from Murphy's and uh, it's a travel group so a travel meetup group so it's interesting it's a woman who runs it and I think she's in the in the travel industry so I hope she doesn't try to sell me a bloody pack, package deal or something but uh, hopefully she'll just uh, talk about travel and uh, yeah so that's uh, that's tomorrow night so uh, that could be interesting or it could be a bit of a disaster but it's not far from where I live so nothing ventured nothing gained I'd almost rejoin that uh, that social group they had because they had 10 pin bowling nights haven't done that for years and it's good to have a physical activity when you're doing the group with the, with the group uh, it'd be good if they had a meet up group that did the uh, ball golf yeah I think that's what it's called ball golf where's the combination of soccer and, uh, and golf in uh, Gordonvale so that would be something that would work for uh, something like a, a meet up group but uh, I could put it to the social club one anyway see if they're interested in doing something like that uh, I wouldn't mind trying it out but it, you, you need other people to play with to make it interesting but it does appeal to me something quirky Hopefully this walk I've walked, walked up a little bit of uh, excess kilos. Hopefully. Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. And uh, either give do that or give me a thumbs up or, or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That would be great. Uh, but uh, please don't ignore me. That's the worst thing you can do on YouTube is be ignored.